such Americans should live. I mean, this is truly paradise. I mean, this is incredible. Yeah, give yourselves a hand for just living here. I love it. And I know a lot of you guys, um, you know, traveled a little bit uh, to be here tonight, and uh, we are just so honored. Uh, we've had a blast since we've been here. Uh, our parents, I've never been to Hawaii. This is my first time. I think this is Nick's uh, second or third time, second time. Um, and our parents are upstairs now uh, waiting on us to go uh, wine and dine them some more with some of your amazing food here. But um, I definitely just wanted to, you know, at least reach out and tell you guys a little bit um, about my background. And, you know, maybe there's some of you in the room that I can speak to coming from, uh, like Nick said, he put it very nicely. Um, I came from a very stuffy, corporate, conservative uh, background. Um, and, you know, I look back and think, at least I gained some skill sets there. Um, but what I do know is, is that for whatever reason, for so many years, I kind of felt like I didn't fit in. Have any of you guys experienced that before in your current career? It's like, you know, I looked around one time at a, uh, at a big, like, national event. And believe it or not, uh, a lot of drug companies actually celebrate uh, during flu season. This is true. <laughs> I was working with a large drug company, um, and flu season came around. We had an antibiotic at the time. And so it was like, yeah, flu season, let's make some money, you know? And, and I just remember looking around the room thinking, you know, this isn't right. Like, my parents raised me better than this to get excited about an epidemic, <laughs> to get excited about the flu epidemic and having, you know, uh, the, the one antibiotic that could actually help people. And, you know, the truth is I was waiting hours and hours and hours in doctor's offices for a chance to maybe talk to one of them for 20 or 30 seconds really not making a very large impact um, on people's lives. And something was tugging at my heart, and maybe you guys have experienced that before in my gut. I don't know where it was coming from, but it was telling me, um, Ashley, you were made, you were designed for, for more than this, and there's something else out there better for you. No idea what it was. A few months later, I got invited to my very first uh, challenge party, like you guys are at tonight. Um, so I was in your seat uh, not too long ago, uh, and I remember sitting in the back, I'm not picking on anybody in the back, but um, Nick calls him the cool crowd. <laughs> I was sitting in the back like, yeah, you know, I make good money and these people are going to try and sell me something, you know. I can't be sold, I'm a salesperson. You know, and it cracks me up because I left there that night and I was just, and I'm never quiet. Nick can vouch for that. And I was quiet. I mean, literally, you know, what I had found and the vision of you know what I knew this company could become so long before we are who we are today, um, you know I knew that that was going to change my life, and I never ever looked back. Um, what I will tell you uh, is that in my first uh, six months with the company, uh, I was able to triple my monthly income of what I was making as a top farm one percent pharmaceutical uh, rep in North America, um, and I got a chance to fire my boss. Anybody in this room want to do that? Don't raise your hand if your boss is in the room, right? But, oh. uh, <laughs> but uh, that was me, and, and, I, and I'll tell you, if I have any advice for those of you who, um, who love the culture here, I mean, how can you not? We, we have fun, we change thousands and thousands and thousands of lives. Uh, you know, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, how many of you know uh, what happened to our economy in the last couple of years, right? It's not embarrassing to want more out of life. And I, and I want all of you to know that this is a culture and a company where it's okay to walk through those doors and want more for yourself or want more for your family or want to take more vacations or have more time off or drive the cooler car. It's okay to want to become a better person in this room. I know a lot of times around maybe, you know, your group of friends or sometimes your family just haven't quite caught up to your personal growth yet. They may not understand that. But this is a room where that is welcome. Um, the last thing, you know, kind of that I guess I can, uh, I can share with you is just stay coachable. You guys are an amazing uh, a group of leaders in this room uh, that are making big waves in this company, running some of our top ranks very, very quickly. Um, I put it this way. I actually stole this from, uh, from Brian Belleville. He calls it the pile. Hi! <laughs> he calls it the, uh, the pile theory. As you can, guys can tell from my accent, I'm from uh, the South, uh, originally from Alabama. Not, not as far south as, I guess, as you guys, but I'm from the other uh, side of the country in the South. And uh, we have this thing in Alabama called uh, the pile theory. And it's that if somebody's pile of money is higher than yours, you listen to them, right? <laughs> So when I first met Nick, I was like, okay, here's this guy. He's a genius um, in the industry of network marketing. He made his first million 
uh, at 25 years old. And, you know, he and the other leaders in this room were, were all mentored by someone. And they want to give back. And I remember the time that I sat down with him and I said, you know, I don't really know who you are. It's his first big event in Atlanta, Georgia. And I said, I think you're like one of the big wigs in the company or something. Listen, buddy, I really need to get the heck out of my job. <laughs> like, can, I need to get out fast. I'm miserable. What can I do? And, and the words that he told me that day have stuck with me forever. And a lot of people ask me, actually, you know, long before Nick and I ever started dating, you know, how did you uh, get to the top ranks in the company so quickly? What was it that, that made that run different? Um, and it was those words that Nick told me. Stay coachable, do not deviate from the system, and you know what? Apply the same work ethic that you have now. I know a lot of you guys in this room know what work ethic is about, right? The beautiful thing about this business is that if you just follow the system and you stay at it day after day after day and never give up, I promise you, each and every single one of you will get to where you wanna go. The last thing I'll tell you before I kick it over uh, to the person I know you guys are very, very excited to, to hear from tonight, um, the person who's, you know, vision created uh, this company that's making waves and really changing an industry. Um, if you didn't know this, guys, uh, we're actually making network marketing cool again by Sal's and because of this man right here. So give him a round of applause for that. <laughs> it is. It's actually cool again, right? I love that. Um, but... <laughs> but no, um, in all seriousness, uh, I was originally attracted to this company because I was kind of a self-professed nerd in pharmaceuticals. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, what we are doing is large. It's very, very large on, a, on the good scale of changing lives. If you look at how many thousands and thousands of lives we're changing, it's just incredible to me to, to have seen that over the last few years and to be a part of it. Um, but what I will tell you before I kick it over to Nick is this. Every single one of you, myself, Nick included, uh, we're all part of a greater good. Uh, I truly believe that every single human being on earth um, needs to feel like they're a part of something greater than themselves. Maybe you get that fulfillment in your job, maybe you don't. I didn't. I needed to feel like I was contributing to people around me and the world around me, and that I was leaving a legacy that I'd be proud of. And that wasn't getting people stuck on pharmaceutical drugs. I wanted to become a part of the solution to real health and helping people before it was too late. And that's the opportunity this company has created for us. And guys, I truly believe that every single one of us will be a part of helping this company, Vaisalis, the Body by Vi Challenge, being the very first billion dollar company in North America uh, in this industry in a how many year time frame? First product company First product company uh, in history to ever do it in the U.S. only to become wow. a billion dollar company. How many of you guys want to be a part of that with us? I'm excited and I'm going to kick it over now uh, to my mentor. Um, obviously, uh, what I'm really excited to say is that he is uh, Mr. Nick Sarnicola. And I'm now Mrs. Sarnicola. Yay! Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but uh, this is the, the, the last of our, our you know, stops here for our honeymoon. It was a perfect choice. Um, we, uh, we started in South Africa. We went to Dubai. Uh, then Thailand, then Hong Kong. We actually got rerouted to Taipei, um, and then we landed here just uh, yesterday. So thank you guys again for having us. I'm going to kick it over to the man with a plan, Mr. Nick Sarnicola. That's my wife. That's when you give yourself a self high five. Hang on, I got to go. There we go. I'm just going to cover that. Um, you leaving me? Okay, that's fine. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, that's fine. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I know for some of you guys, you're down here looking at everything for the very first time. I probably should say we, we've got a little bit of the cart before the horse scenario. Usually in a scenario like this, you would go through the whole challenge, what it is, all the information, and then, you know, we might speak at the end of the information. Um, but tonight, because we're on a honeymoon, this was a last second, like, I I'm blown away that 115, 120 of you guys have showed up in a 72-hour notice. Literally blown away. So congratulations to all the leaders in here that put together, because that's, that's a big deal. Um, but, uh, you know, what I share with the guys, is the only way I can do this is if we spoke first, and then we have to uh, exit with our family. So, uh, hopefully it's okay for the, go the folks that are down here, but the very first time we're going, um, I like what you just said, but what the heck am I doing here right now? What's, what's going on? So you, I give you guys a, a little bit of a rundown that's a little bit of the cart before the horse. 
So we'll, uh, we'll get to that part in just a moment. Um, my quick background, my name is Nick Sarnicola again. I'm originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan. I have a very just blue collar, middle class upbringing. All four of my grandparents, they worked at the same factory. It had a trickle down effect. Uh, my uncles, my dad worked there, third generation. My cousins, my brothers worked there. And I was just kind of the youngest of all the uh, grandchildren. So I didn't know what I wanted to be when I grew up, but I knew what I didn't want to be, and that was working at that factory, right? So, you know, my, my whole family had a, um, a, 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 um, a generational disease, like passed down from generation to generation. Anybody have that same, ever have that in your family where you have some of this passed down, diabetes, heart disease? Ours was called chronic bronchitis. Anybody have them in that in family? <laughs> Just a, an entire lineage of chronic bronchitis. <laughs> so I just, uh, I decided, well, I'm gonna have to do something different um, if, uh, if I'm going to break that lineage. So I, you know, what are the choices when you're, you know, from a, uh, you're, you're stuck in a middle class family. You really don't, you, love, you watch TV, you go, okay, if you can be rich, you, can, you gotta be a, uh, an actor, or you gotta be a rock star, or you gotta be a rapper, or you gotta do something illegal, or you gotta be a pro athlete. Those are pretty much the only options if you don't know about the real option. And most middle class uh, and, 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 uh, and below, most upper middle class and below kids have no idea about the number one way that wealth is created. So I went on with a full scholarship and played college baseball because that was gonna be my ticket out. And uh, luckily I was introduced, thank you, uh, I was introduced to the number one way that success and wealth is created in any family, it's called entrepreneurship. That's the number one way. Uh, why they didn't teach it to me in high school, why they didn't teach it to you in high school, why they didn't teach it to us in kindergarten, I have no idea. It should be like required curriculum since you're a kid. You know, it's like math and English and history, how to start a business, like these should be the things that you learn as a child and we're just not. And luckily I was taught at 18 that you could actually have a little business. So I got involved in this industry at the age of 18. Um, when I say this industry, I don't mean health and fitness or wellness, I mean the direct selling uh, network marketing industry, much like uh, Elias at age 18. And um, by the time I was 22, I was making 30, 40,000 a month, um, made my first million at 25 and then several times over since then. So it's been a, an amazing journey. But at 26 years old, my business partners and I had a chance to pursue what I'll call two passions at once. Um, that first passion being health and fitness, um, and, and we had created um, a, a, a partnership and acquired some amazing products, and we said, wow, there's an opportunity for us to pursue one of our passions, because we're athletes, we work out, we're, we're always in the gym, et cetera, et cetera, it's one of the things that we like, while at the same time being entrepreneurs and creating entrepreneurs. So we could not only pursue the fitness and health side, but we could also be entrepreneurs while creating entrepreneurs as well. Creating entrepreneurs is a passion of ours. Um, you, know, you can get rich doing anything. Stockbrokers will get rich, but they don't, do, they don't create entrepreneurs. They don't have a passion to take another person and say, look, here's how you become a business owner. Here's how you get yourself free from corporate America. Here's how you buy your time back, right? A real, a real estate investor is gonna make a lot of money. They don't create entrepreneurs. They create jobs. They give someone a job, say, here's your salary. But that's not our passion. Our passion is, number one, you know, that health and wellness and fitness. Number two, creating entrepreneurs. And we combine those two ideas together and created by Salas, and uh, 2005, so we're now six years old. In those first four years, we did fairly well, uh, but then uh, the economy took a turn, right? It, it went to a whole different direction. And so with that economy turning, we as a company were forced to also take a turn. And what we did is we ended up creating the Body by Vi Challenge, or the 90 Day Challenge as a lot of people know it. And you know, it literally not only revolutionized our company, but revolutionized the weight loss industry and the network marketing industry all in the last 24 months. You know, in the last 24 months, we have created, uh, and just to kind of give you guys a little bit of backdrop here, we are the number one weight loss challenge in the world today, an estimated 10 million pounds loss in only 24 months. Pretty cool thing. Um, and uh, within that, guys, if you're not looking to lose weight, that's okay, because 30% of our customers don't. I don't use our product, I take the kits that are for you know, uh, fitness related things. I take the core kit, and we have a new kit coming out in about Ooh. two weeks. Ooh. For those of you guys that really are interested in the fitness aspect uh, of, uh, right. uh, of oh, yeah. um, your right. health. So we, we, but 70% of our consumers are weight loss people. 
So you know, if you do want to lose some weight or you want or you want to uh, um, shed some pounds, you're you're like 70% of our consumers. And then the the, the rest of you, 30%, guess what? 70% of your friends also uh, uh, need to or want to lose some weight. And we became the number one weight loss challenge because a a need was created on this planet by something called fast food. Yeah. Right? Fast food created the need. Right? Um, you know the 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 golden arches. Right? They're golden. And, and you don't have, you know, your insides aren't golden, but they'll tell you what those arches are. They lure you, right? And they brag about 99 billion served, right? 99 future cardiac arrests in a box served, right? 99 billion served. And, you know, we, we said, well, they created this need. Why don't we become the alternative? Why don't we become fast food that instead of puts packs uh, weight on people, takes it off people? Why don't we become fast food that, uh, um, you know, instead of that shake that you drink, um, with your Happy Meal uh, that adds pounds, we're going to give you a shake that tastes just as good that deletes pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And that became our focus. And yeah. you know, uh, we we won't stop. Our mission as a company is like, what is your mission? Our mission as a company is we're going to have 99 billion shakes served mm -hmm. all across the world. We're gonna, and if you think about that, you're like, well, what does that mean? We're going to replace 99 billion meals with that we're, we're headed towards Taco Bell, that we're headed towards KFC, that we're headed towards uh, uh, Burger King, and we're going to reroute 99 billion meals into something that's going to help people lose weight, gain muscle mass, uh, and, and, and help other areas of their health through the routes of uh, great nutrition. And that's our mission. And we're, we're approaching very fast, if we haven't passed it already, already 100 million shakes served in the last 24 months. Give it up for that. That's a big number. 100 so 100 million times we replaced fast food for somebody, and that's equated to about 10 million pounds. So we're very proud of that. Um, now, secondarily, by doing that, we've become the number one fastest growing direct selling company in North America. Um, we've grown for 23 straight months, double digit compounded growth every single month with the exception of December of last year. Because it turns out there wasn't a ton of people trying to lose weight in December. It just turns out. Except for you guys. Good for you. And, um, you know, the, when, you, when you think about that, some of you guys are like, I, I don't understand what that graph means. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand what that data means. Data people in here, you're like, holy cow, 24 straight months, double digit compounded growth. Yes, we went from 1 million a month to 38 million a month in 23 months. Yes. That's a $12 million company to a $425 million company in only two countries, the US and Canada, and only 23 months. Now for those of you guys who aren't numbers people, numbers people, you are what we call right brain people. Is there any numbers people in the room? Right brain people in the room, go ahead and raise your hand. Right brain people, two of you, okay. <laughs> a lot of people hanging out on the beach around these parts, okay. <laughs> This is no, we're not on Wall Street here, are we? All right. <laughs> left brain thinkers. Left brain thinkers, you're more creative, you're out of the box, things go. like that. Where are my left brain thinkers at, right? Okay, the other one third of the room, you're no brain thinkers. You're, they're like, watch this, I'm not gonna raise my hand. No, oh, he got me! Right? It's, you got, you're either one or the other, right? You're a mixture of both, but you have a dominant one or the other. So for those of you guys that were numbers people, the two people that raised their hand, you got the data I just shared. For the rest of you guys in the room, we're gonna draw you a picture. Because the left brain people, you like pictures. So here's what I need you guys to do. I need you guys to, uh, uh, I need you guys to rattle off 23 months in a row. And I know this sounds like it's a long time, but it's only going to take about 10 seconds. Well, what you're going to do is start with January, and you're going to rattle off 23 months straight all the way till November of 2011. We're going to start January 2010 all the way November 2011. All you, gotta, all you guys got to do is go like this. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and I'm gonna draw the picture. On the count of three, start with January, 23 months. One, two, three, go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. And that right Ooh. there is the picture, right? Wow. So that's our growth as a company over the last 23 months. Now, if you still don't understand what that means, I feel like, I still, I don't get what that graph means. This right here is good. This right here is bad, right? So this, this way is what? Good. good. This way is what? Bad. bad. So um, real estate industry. Bad. During the same time window, real estate industry. 
Yes. Mortgage industry. Yes. Insurance industry. Yes. Automotive industry. Yes. Pharmaceutical industry. Yes. Every industry related to any of the industries I just named. Yes. Banking industry. Yes. Body by Buy Challenge. Good. Okay. So I, I do that, guys, and I really want you to understand, we not only created something good in the last two years, we did it while everything else and every other industry was failing. Yeah. We were setting record after record after wow. record after record. Yeah. Yeah. And so much so that our CEO's book, which is widely uh, written about on our uh, company, uh, become a number one bestseller this year on the New York Times bestseller list, the Wall Street Journal bestseller list, the Barnes & Noble uh, bestseller list, the Amazon.com bestseller list. It was even picked recent, uh, recently as best business book of the year uh, by one of the uh, um, uh, uh, um, um, book experts, you know, the book experts that picked the top books of the year. She picked this as top business book of the year. And it's about our story as a company, right? So what I want you guys to get is this is not some small fly-by-night thing here. To, that's not what it's about. It's not about, oh, can you get rich? Can you? you can, but that's not what it's about. What it's about is how many people we can put on the challenge, how many people we can help lose weight or stay fit or get fit, and how we can perpetuate that through the U.S., Canada, North America, uh, Asia, South America. I'm going to tell you guys, next place we go. Next place we are headed is closer to you than it is closer to me. I'm going to tell you that right now. As a company, the next countries we head into is a lot closer to you than it's closer to me in Miami. Hint, hint, clue, clue. So, you know, we're, we're gearing up, guys, to take this uh, challenge to literally billions of people over the next three, four years. And, and starting in 2012, we're going to be, you know, headed towards one of your neighbors. And I want you guys to understand that what you're doing here, you guys are the gateway. And you guys, you, it's going to be a lot harder for us to go, um, which direction is that, for, to go west than it is for you to go west. And it's going to be a lot easier. I just took the flights. I know. We just went all around the world. I know it's going to be a lot easier for you to go west than it is for us to go west. But you get, you got to get positioned here. you got to get started here. you got to make it happen here and get going locally here. Um, my closing thoughts are this. We just came up... Uh, um, off from, excuse me, we're not even coming off from. We still got eight more or seven more days. We, we got the last seven days of a 35 day honeymoon um, that Ashley and I are on. And uh, how many of you guys in the room are currently married? Please raise your hand. Some of uh, those of you who are not, who would like to someday be, be married if you're not already? Okay, which means all of you in this room are either going to have anniversaries. If you don't have anniversary, uh, if you're not married, you're going to have a honeymoon one day. And what, the biggest thing I can hope for you guys is what happened for us uh, over the last 35 days. See, it's, there's two resources you need to do whatever you want. Two resources and two resources only. Resource number one, money. Resource number two, time. I know a lot of people with a lot of money and no time because all they do is work, 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 and if they stop working, they don't make money. How many of you guys know people with money and no time, right? <laughs> Now, I also know way more people on the other side, which are people with lots of time and know what? Money. How many of you guys know people with lots of time and know money, right? Oh, by the way, there's a new third category that's become more and more prevalent. It's called the no time and no money group, right? Anybody know some of those folks, right? The, uh, the no time and no money group are interesting because I'll meet them a lot of times and they'll be the most skeptical. I'm, I'm like, they have no time, no money, and they're skeptical about what I do? I would be really skeptical about what you do if you got no time to money. Because you're 0 for 2. You didn't get either one of them right, right? At least get one of them right if you're going to be skeptical. So, you know, if you're 0 for 2, guys, I would run for the hills from what you're doing. And you, I would give anything a shot. Give anything a shot if you're 0 for 2. What I love about this industry, what I love about this company, is its ability to provide you both. Its ability to provide you not only great income, but also great time freedom. And uh, I, I wish upon every single one of you who's married and who's not married but will be one day to have an anniversary trip or a honeymoon that was identical to ours because of the time freedom and the financial freedom it can provide. Starting you in the United States in the southeast corner and flying you on Thanksgiving Day to see your family in Alabama, getting on a plane and heading to Johannesburg and spending a few days in Johannesburg and, and going into 
literally going into uh, the, the shanty towns where they have three million people and driving there and having lunch with them and, and seeing what poverty really is and seeing how bad it can really be, but seeing how happy they can be at the same time and how, how they want to take every picture with you and wave. And then uh, taking a plane over to Sengite, Kruger, uh, Kruger National Park, and literally riding around with lions and, and uh, uh, um, hippos and rhinos. and They're like from you, me to you away, just like the scariest thing of my life. Like I've been in, I'm from Michigan, I've been to Detroit a lot, I've been way more scared. I was way more scared on this safari with three female lions walking by me knowing they could snatch me up at any time. I can't, I can't commute, I can't negotiate with them, I can negotiate with a human being, right? <laughs> Scariest thing in my life. Um, and then uh, uh, leaving there and going down to Cape Town and getting to experience Cape Town and, and you know, uh, Tabletop Mountain and uh, driving around the Cape and then um, hopping on a plane and going to uh, Dubai and uh, seeing what, uh, you know, what wealth can create and going to the, the top of the highest building at 140 stories, 1,600 meters or something crazy, 1,600 feet, something crazy like that, just out of this world and staying at the, the only seven-star hotel in the world, the, on the highest rated hotel in the world, literally it's, it's two stories, your room, it's two stories, you have a butler, insane. And then uh, taking um, uh, uh, a plane down to Thailand and staying in Koh Samui and just enjoying the beach, probably much like this, but Thai food every day. And that's our favorite type of food. Yeah. And uh, you know, having, enjoying um, you know, the, 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 the beach and having a great time there and then heading up to uh, Bangkok and spending a couple days in Bangkok. And our best dinner, by the way, people are like, oh, you're not going to like Bangkok. Our best meal on the whole trip was in Bangkok. We went to the top of a 90-story building, eight on top of the rooftop. How many of you guys have seen Hangover Part 2? Anybody seen that? Remember the part where the helicopter comes in? and you know that, That's the restaurant that we're eating at. It's called uh, Socorro. Soraco. Soraco, Socorro. Soraco. It's called... Uh, Soraco, thank you. It's called Soraco, and uh, it was literally... They just filmed the movie there months earlier. It was one of the best meals I've had in my life. It was definitely the best one on the honeymoon. Leaving Bangkok, flying to Hong Kong, and spending a few days in Hong Kong, and shopping, and shopping, and shopping, and shopping, and then when you're done with that, you shop, and you shop, and you shop some more. And, and, and going in and telling a tailor, I want my suit to look like this, and like this, and actually designing a dress, and they're, you know, they're, they're doing whatever you want. Pick the fabric, do this, do that. And, and then uh, flying to uh, Taiwan, Taipei, for a 16-hour marathon, because we got rerouted. We said, fine. Fly us to Taiwan, we're going to get out, we're going to run. We bought clothes in the, uh, in the airport because our bags were missing. We ran off the plane, we ran out, had a great time in Taiwan, Taipei, and then flew here, and now we're going to spend uh, uh, seven, eight days with all of you great people of Hawaii, and then we return home on day 35. I want you guys to experience that, not just once in your life, but every year. Here's what Ashley and I decided after this trip. We decided that now every year, in the month of December, we will take uh, um, a, a trip to three or four locations for seven to ten days at a time for the month of December. Why? Because of time and financial freedom. And guys, this is the number one vehicle right now for those two resources if those two things interest you whatsoever. So I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for just listening to us, listening to our stories. If you're a part of the company already, I thank you guys for every sacrifice, every action you've taken, every call you've made, every time you press blend on the blender and play on the DVD. And uh, for those of you guys that are looking at it for the first time, give us about 25 more minutes of your time. Check out the DVD they're going to show you. If you like it, great. You know, hop on the challenge. If you don't like it, no big deal. You know, this isn't uh, uh, you know, some big high-pressure company. We're really, we, we met, the reason why we've grown so well in Hawaii is because we're a laid-back, chill, you know, uh, 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 um, not aggressive company. It just is what it is. Here's the challenge. You like it? Great. Do it. You don't? Great. High five. You know, um, let us know when you want to hop on the challenge. So I do want to close with one thing. The gentleman that uh, um, got us started today, this is my first time getting a chance to, uh, to meet Eli. 
extremely well-spoken individual. But I can tell you, anytime somebody, and I don't know who his key leaders are, I know it's his parents, uh, so his parents are here, uh, but I do know that anytime you can put 120 people in a room on 72 hours notice, that's a sign of a really great leader. Yeah. And uh, you guys have an amazing leader here, uh, with Elias, and I'm gonna kick it back to your one-star ambassador, please. Get your feet and give him a big, big round of applause. He's going to kick off the DVD for you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Nick. All right. Everyone say aloha. Aloha. All right. Well, he's here for another seven or eight days, they're going to say. So uh, maybe we can rope him in for a part job. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Nick and Ashley. All right, so um, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to go ahead and press play. So for those of you who are looking at this for the very first time and saying to yourself, you know, I wonder what this is. Can I do this? Can I do that? Um, it's real simple because all we do is we press blend on the blender and we press play on the DVD player. Now, if you're like with, with, this, uh, with the exception of my mom, sometimes they have a hard time looking for the play button on the DVD player. So I guess it's a no-brainer. <laughs> But, here's the thing, if you can press blend and press play, uh, you can absolutely, what we call, run the play here in Vice Alice at the Body of 